I think what's unique about the Wake Forest Nephrology Program is that we are uniquely and intimately involved in the dialysis business and the care of patients with renal failure. Uh, we have the largest academic dialysis um, research center in the United States. And because of that, we're, we're able to be on the cutting edge and we're able to use innovations uh, that improve the care of our patients way before it happens elsewhere in the dialysis community. So my partners and I have been especially interested in home dialysis. Uh, since the early 1980s, we've been very, very involved in peritoneal dialysis and research in peritoneal dialysis, innovations in the peritoneal dialysis therapies and uh, outcomes and how patients do on peritoneal dialysis. But more recently, we've been involved in forms of home hemodialysis therapies, uh, both short daily hemodialysis and nocturnal hemodialysis. Uh, my partner, Dr. Rocco, was a principal investigator in uh, two of these studies with the NIH, which I think are going to be very instrumental in defining how we should care for patients with kidney failure in the future. The Wake Forest Nephrology section has been involved in some very recent intriguing NIH studies that have tried to evaluate the impact of more frequent dialysis on outcomes for patients who have renal failure and are being treated with hemodialysis. Traditionally, patients would go to a dialysis center three times a week. In between, they may have overload of fluid, overload of uh, toxins and electrolytes, but we have evaluated the role of more frequent dialysis. And these studies show that for short daily hemodialysis, there does appear to be improvement on the patient's heart, which we think will impact long-term patient survival. We think this will result in an improvement in patient survival. These, these studies that have involved more frequent dialysis, I, I think will be important things for the average nephrologist to look at. I mean, on a day-to-day -day basis, we're making rounds on patients whose life depends on their dialysis and how well we administer their care. I think Wake Forest is uniquely positioned in that we were involved in the studies, which suggest that if you do dialysis more frequently, you can improve the outcome for many of these patients. And Wake Forest also owns and operates our dialysis units. So we have a lot more leeway into deciding what we want to do as far as patient care, how we want to deliver the dialysis than many dialysis units which do not quite have the same control over what happens in the units as we do.